Welcome back. So the question is going to be, how do you start a service from your existing purchase? How do you find these people who really need what it is that you have in terms of a specialty? And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking for those people ahead of time, obviously, who have product launches related to what you want to offer. You want to make sure if you're going to offer a special in terms of a particular membership site and it's related to a particular product launch, you want to be the person to offer that service. And so you need to have an eye on sites like MunchEye, on sites like JV Notify Pro, what's actually happening. You want to do it ahead of time if possible. And then you want to be able to go to that vendor and you want to go first in providing value to them. And so you want to make sure that you have the value to offer them, but you want to go first. You don't want to uh, come to them and expect that they're just going to give you a spot on their download page. You want to make sure that you have already offered them some kind of value. This might mean that you're going to have to establish some kind of partnership or relationship prior to their actual launch. And quite frankly, this is not going to sit well with all marketers, especially if they don't know you. Um, you're going to have to ask nicely. And then you're going to have to be okay with no. And the first time that you actually approach someone about this, it's likely that you're going to get a lot of no's. You don't need a lot of yeses in order to make a particular service work. And you haven't lost anything by asking the question. So when you go to a marketer, you go to someone who's got a product launch coming together or a series of product launches, you want to be able to offer them that service. If you need to, show them what it is that you can do. And then you keep asking until you get a yes. That means if you have to ask the vendor for on their next product launch, you go back and you ask them again. Or if you need to continue to ask other vendors, other people who have product launches, you keep asking until you get a yes. Now again, what you're doing is you're just setting up a service. You're setting up a system where you are asking people who already have products that are coming out that you can either be on their download page or that you can be someplace in their, their members area so that they know that you can offer the service. And it's actually a benefit to the vendor when they have a particular part of their, of their, of their product or th what they're teaching and they need someone uh, that can set other people up. It's a, actually a benefit to them because it helps their customers. And this is important. Uh, don't rely solely on marketplaces like Freelancer and Upwork. Um, some of the best opportunities are going to come outside of those traditional marketplaces. You might find that you might find success in the warrior form, but you're going to be able to find success by developing personal relationships with other marketers and other vendors who are actually looking to get products in the marketplace, but may or may not want to develop a particular service. And that's the way this is going to work. Develop personal relationships. And again, uh, you're, you're, you, you want to do this in the way that you want to treat people the other way that you want to be treated. So if someone says, no, um, that, that's not what I'm looking to do, or they say, no, please don't ask me anymore, then, then, then don't ask. But develop the kind of relationship with other marketers where they feel or they sense that you are the kind of person that they would want their customers to be around. And, and be willing to do this for the insider edge. So in some cases, you, you might not necessarily uh, uh, get the best spot on the download page, but in a lot of cases, what's going to happen is uh, someone's going to offer you the ability to offer the service, and you're going to see the inside of someone else's operation. And sometimes, this is more valuable than actually getting a customer. You're going to actually see the inside of a product launch from very experienced marketers, and this will be a help to you in other areas of your internet marketing marketing business. So what are you going to need in order to turn their purchases into services? You're going to have to have a skill in the trade in some way, shape, or form. And that means that you're going to have to be able to do something that people value. Maybe you can put together graphics. Maybe you can uh, do WordPress. Maybe you can, uh, maybe you can actually do webinars. You need to have some kind of skill. And one of the best places to go is the warrior forum to start thinking about, well, what kind of services do people want? What kind of services are people looking to buy? You can actually go and determine that before you start figuring out where you're going to offer a skill. But if you already have something that you do well, and maybe you just haven't been able to figure out how to put it into a product, this is a great way of being able to monetize that skill. 
of course you need to have the equipment to offer the skill so if you're going to do voiceovers make sure that you've got the best miking system make sure if you're going to do course creation make sure that you've got camtasia or screen flow and the ability to edit videos you need to have the equipment to offer the skill you also need to have fair and reasonable pricing now you don't need to uh to to be a, a partner to a vendor and then you want to offer outrageous pricing, even if you're going to give them a commission. You want to do this in a way that's fair and reasonable to their customers so that they feel good about introducing you to their customers so that the customer feels good about buying from you. Again, your pricing should be fair and reasonable. Um, you want to have leverage from personal relationships, leverage from personal relationships. So when you actually go into this, again, this just goes back to talking to people about what it is that you do so that they know that they can offer your service to them and again this is going to come back to how you're getting along with other marketers and other vendors and of course you need to get something to offer to get more leverage so if you're going to if you're going to offer um, the 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 marketer the marketer is going to get a spot on your on your uh, you're going to get a spot on the marketer's download page. What's going to happen is you want to give that marketer something in return. You want to be able to offer that marketer something. Maybe you're going to do a future promotion for them if you have a list. Maybe you're going to to give them some kind of of uh, of, of of free part of your service. You're going to do some of that service for them. Offer something to them to get more leverage. They'll be more willing to actually give you the spot and introduce you to their customers. And, and here's something that is kind of key that's related to everything that, we, that has been said. Start looking at the things that you purchase as a partner list. So when you start looking at some of the things that you've bought, you want to start looking at these people as potential partners. If you thought well enough that the, the, the product is something that you want, well, more than likely there are going to be other people who have bought it also. And then um, if you can actually do something with that product and you can actually help people, this is going to be someone that you want to partner with. And lastly, you're going to need to know when and how to say no when you are offering a service. Now, you are going to be a freelance service. You're not necessarily going to be a service that's going to be at will. You want to give people the opportunity to contract with you. You want to give people the opportunity to, uh, to, to pitch their product to you. But you don't want to say yes to everything and so you want to have the ability to either shut down your your service when you get too busy or if, or if too many orders are coming in you want to be able then to say that um, you are full or that your calendar is full in some cases this is going to mean that you want to be able to offer an appointment calendar so then make sure that you know when and how to say no and that that is built into the business and the service that you are offering Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.